Good evening, I'm Shireen Aman and you're watching GKTV. Here are the top stories making headlines today. In the top news of the day, Chief Minister Umar Abdullah visited the fire-affected victims in the Warwan area of Kishtiwar district, offering his support and solidarity during this challenging time. Umar Abdullah emphasized the importance of community and government responsibility, stating that I am here to support them and to let them know that they are not alone in such circumstances. The Chief Minister's visit aims to provide comfort and reassurance to those affected by the devastating fire. I am here to reach out to the people and give them the sense that they are not alone in this difficult time. It is our responsibility that we help them to help them. और इनको नए सिरे से बसाएं कुछ हद तक हुकूमत ने इंतजामिया ने इन तक रिलीफ पहुंचाने की कोशिश की मैंने इसमें कुछ इसको बढ़ाया है आज और जैसे मैंने अपनी तकरीर में अभी कहा हम वजीर आजम साहब को भी प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिलीफ फंड के तहत उनसे मदद मांगने का काम हमने शुरू किया है उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि वजीर आजम के रिलीफ फंड से भी यहाँ लोगों को थोड़ा सा एक हिस्सा मिलेगा उमर अब्दुल्ला द न्यूली इलेक्टेड चीफ मिनिस्टर चेयर हिज फर्स्ट कैबिनेट मीटिंग टूडे During the cabinet meeting, key administrative issues were discussed and the government's immediate priorities were outlined. Umar Abdullah, leader of the National Conference, took his oath on Tuesday in a ceremony overseen by Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha. National Conference leader and MLA from Sonawari, Hilal Akbar Loan, has clarified that he had no intention of disrespecting the national anthem during Chief Minister Umar Abdullah's oath-taking ceremony at the SKICC in Srinagar. Loan explained that this decision to sit down during the anthem was due to sudden back pain, which forced him to sit down abruptly. The incident sparked brief controversy, but Loan has assured the public that his actions were not meant to cause offence. खड़ा हो गया मगर लेकिन मैं खड़ा हो नहीं पाया फिर मैं बैठ गया तो बैक एक की वजह से बैक पेन की वजह से मैं फिर बैठ गया मतलब ये है कि ये कोई जुर्म नहीं है सुप्रीम कोर्ट की ये ऑब्जर्वेशन है तो उस हिसाब से अगर नेशनल एंथम जब बजता है तो उस टाइम आप खड़े नहीं होते हैं तो ये कोई जुर्म नहीं है और दूसरी बात है अगर डिस्ट्रप्शन होती है मतलब नेशनल एंथम के वक्त को डिस्टर्बेंस आप क्रिएट करते हैं रैक्स क्रिएट करते हैं मॉक करते हैं उसको तो आप जुर्म याबता है All preparations are in place for the upcoming Kashmiri Marathon scheduled for the 20th of this month. JNK Chief Secretary Atal Dulu has confirmed the date of the event. Meanwhile, the officials have finalized the security, medical and traffic arrangements to ensure a smooth and successful marathon, with participants expected from across the region. And this will be the first edition. 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 रनर्स हैं वो आ रहे हैं और अपना किट यहाँ पर ले रहे हैं उसके साथ साथ एग्जीबिशन भी लगा है कि जो यहाँ के निश प्रोडक्ट्स हैं हमारे हैंडलूम हैंडीक्राफ्ट्स हॉटीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर के प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उनको भी हम एग्जीबिट करना चाहते हैं प्रमोट करना चाहते हैं हम चाहते हैं कि इस कश्मीर मैराथन के जरिए ये मैसेज बाहर तक पहुँचे कि कश्मीर में भी एडवेंचर In the other news, the Divisional Commissioner Kashmir chaired a meeting to finalize arrangements for the upcoming Kashmir Marathon, focusing on security, medical facilities and traffic management. Officials from various departments attended to ensure smooth conduct of the event. Highlighting the region's progress, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha stated that the Legends League cricket tournament is being held in Kashmir due to the peace witnessed in recent years. He emphasized that the event is a testament to the changing landscape of Jammu and Kashmir. The tournament reflects the region's growing stability and potential to host large-scale sports events. tournament Kashmir और जिस तरह की भीड़ उमड़ी है स्वाभाविक रूप से यही बताता है कि यही बदलता हुआ जम्मू कश्मीर है और शांति के जो प्रयास रहे हैं पिछले चार पाँच वर्षों में 
In a significant achievement, the district police technical team Kupwara has successfully recovered 17 mobile phones worth rupees 2.5 lakhs. The recovery was made after a strenuous efforts by the technical team following several complaints received over time by the district police Kupwara regarding the missing mobile phones. The recovered mobile phones were handed over to their rightful owners today at the district police office Kupwara. The recipients expressed their gratitude and appreciated the relentless efforts of the district police in ensuring the recovery of their belongings. Now on to some global news. A court in Bangladesh has ordered an arrest warrant for the former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, who is currently living in exile in the neighbouring India. Hasina had fled the country in August after she was dethroned by a student uprising. Amid a diplomatic row between India and Canada, a Liberal Canadian MP has called for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's resignation as party leader ahead of the next elections, asserting that the country's people have had enough. Now let's turn on to a weather update. Tomorrow, the weather in Srinagar is expected to be predominantly cloudy with intermittent rain showers throughout the day. Temperatures will range from a low of 10 degrees Celsius to a high of 16, making for a cool and a damp day. That wraps up the bulletin for today. Stay connected and keep watching GKTV.